tips on writing the background of the study of qualitative research. Qualitative research is the first research na may encounter na grade 11 students. It can be offered on the second semester of grade 11. I-define mo natin ang qualitative research. A qualitative research involves collecting and analyzing non-numerical data to understand concepts, opinions, and experiences. Now, para saan ba ang qualitative research? It can be used to generate new ideas for research. In this video, pag-uusapan natin on how to write background of the study of qualitative research. Tip number one, your ideas must be in inductive approach. Inductive approach meaning, we will start at specific ideas going to general ideas. Now, i-consider natin itong research title. Adversities in Radio Frequency Identification Deployment, a descriptive study in North and South Expressway in the Philippines. Ganito nila sinulat yung kanilang first paragraph. The researcher's purpose in this study is to know what are the different adversities that the government face while adapting RFID in North Luzon Expressway and South Luzon Expressway in the Philippines. Pansinin natin yung construction ng kanilang first sentence, naka-specific siya. So kapag nagsulat na din tayo ng ating first sentence sa background of the study, dapat specific. Um, pwede natin i-start ito by definition o kaya by asking a question or maglagay tayo ng quotation. Siyempre, dapat related sa ating research title. Sa background of the study, 3 to 4 sentences, okay na yon. Tip number 2, elaborate your research gap. Ano ba itong research gap? It can be a question or problem na hindi pa nasasagot in any existing research. Di ba pag nagsusulat tayo ng background of the study, ay naka-essay format siya. So, we have three parts of essay. We have introduction, the body, and conclusion. Sabihin natin na yung tip 1 kanina, siya na yung ating introduction. Meaning, itong second tip natin, sabihin natin na papasok na yung body ng ating essay. Pwede natin tong ilocate sa second or third paragraph natin. Gamitin pa din natin yung research title kanina na ginamit natin. Ganito nila sinulat yung kanilang research gap. Ayan. The researchers observe that potential of RFID technology is huge, contrary to popular belief. RFID technology is not recent, and in its deployment in commercial application is not only due to its excessive cost. May mga research advisors na ang unang nilang pinapagawang task ay maghanap ng problem bago mag-construct ng kanilang research title. So, yung problem na yun, pwede natin ilocate dito sa body ng ating background of the study. Gaya sa amin nung college, problems in our field muna yung pinahanap ng aming research advisors bago kami nag-construct ng mga title, background of the study, SOP, and so on. Tip number three, your conclusion or your last paragraph. Your last paragraph can be or suggestions. Let's say, same research title pa din tayo, ganito nila kinonstruct yung kanilang last paragraph. The researchers 
wants to help other large organizations, companies, and technological community on how the researchers' government adapt and what are the ad advertises during the implementation of RFID system in NLEX and SLEX in the Philippines. Ayan, pasadya yung NLEX tsaka SLEX na sinabi ko ha, kasi hindi po dapat natin gayahin yung acronym. Dapat yung nandyan sa photos, complete words po dapat. Then, after ng first sentence, pwede pa natin itong dagdagan ng second, third, or fourth sentences natin. So, ganun lang ang magsulat ng background of the study of qualitative research. Kung may natutunan ka, pwede mong i-share itong video or itag mo yung friends mo sa comment section. And don't forget to follow Senior Pablo TV for Senior High School. And you can also find me in my YouTube channel, Senior Pablo TV for Senior High School. Thank you.